welcome back to another video. Today we're here at the Evergreen State Fairgrounds. We're at an RV show. Usually there's not too many interesting rigs, a lot of white boxes. And we're gonna take a look at some of these other motorhomes that they have here. Uh, I think a lot of you guys seem to have more of the motorhomes and the all-in-ones rather than the travel trailer. Uh, but let's just peek our head into some of these. Like this Tuscany, it's beautiful paint. I give Thor crap for their headlights, but this is actually pretty decent uh, as long as these light up. Otherwise, what the heck, right? That's uh, this, this paint job, beautiful. Atlas Foundation 45MX. We've got a cargo carrying capacity of 6583. That is a lot, and it is a tandem axle, so something to know there. She's a big old rig. I love the dark faux wood here. That looks pretty decent. Very decent here. Nice big old Garmin screen there. That's about the right size. Pretty I nice. I really like these L or J shaped couches, because I like to lift my feet up on the couch, even if I don't have a footrest. The only problem here is the TV is behind Joel's head. Yeah. We don't watch TV ever, so it's not really a problem for us. And it does extend out. We've got some big old recliners there. It's Another okay. pull-out deal here. Yeah. Looks like the MSRP is 657 928 Of course, your digital system. Yeah, huge. Huge. I love these sinks right here. That's that is something. That's real nice. You got a big fridge and an ice maker in it. That uh, water and ice maker there. Does of course have big old whirlpool. Separate. Oh, don't like these doors. Not very good. Pop-up TV and a fireplace. I like the, op the semi-opaque here. Got a little bit of a step up with engine access back here. Does look accessible with the slide in and that's a beautiful shower. This is actually the nicest store shower we've seen. <laughs> I like the gray. I like the gray they use in here on the cabinets. Yeah, I think they did a nice enough job. I love these sinks on the dual vanity. This is beautiful. The way they they formed it, man. That's gorgeous. Guys, I totally ate on the uh, the Inception with those seven steps. That hurt a little bit, but we're okay. Let's take a look at this Georgetown GT7. This one might kind of surprise you, right? With two slides on the passenger side. Very interesting. 32J7. They're asking 192,995. So very interesting. I think this is going to be on the bigger F53 chassis like we have. What is the, what's cargo on this? Cargo carrying capacity, 2,066 pounds. I'd like to see a little more myself, but uh, no lights in here, but let's come on in. Pretty open, very open. Very open. Kind of picnicking style here. Uh, lighter wood. Kind of interesting. Would I rather see white? Myself, I would. We're seeing some of these these gaps. I don't know if that bothers any of you guys, but kind of bothers me a little bit. All right, we've seen this dash. I've done a couple uh, tours of a, the GT7s. I feel like something's missing here. Yeah, like a TV. I don't, <laughs> I'm used to seeing TV here, but instead we get to see my mug. Uh, single bathroom on this guy. Fiberglass surround. It's kind of a weird shape. Kind of a weird shape. And, oh, oh. Oh, problem one, I can't even fit in here without striking that. That's an automatic fail for me. Oh, this is awkward, very awkward. But as we come on back, nice big window back here. Tilt a bed, I suspect you probably have to tilt this bed. Lots of storage and a washer dryer. Yeah, oh, and washer dryer in here, okay. Well, that's taken from some of your cargo carrying capacity. But you also have storage here, storage back there. Yeah. Very interesting. Still not the unit I would choose personally, but you know, especially if you like these Thomas Paynes, this might be the one for you. <laughs> Don't buy it for the seats. You can always add those to whatever unit you like. Seriously. We're gonna go ahead and bypass some of these wind sports and, and Miramars because you already know how we feel about them. But I gotta say, I'm a little impressed with the diesel fours lately, especially that $300,000 mark. Is that the mark where you, well, I guess that's on sale. $400,000, 450 is that the mark where you like, you can start to get some decent quality? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, but uh, we got some, we got a couple travel trailers and fifth wheels in here. What's in this Astoria here? This is kind of, kind of interesting. Long window, kitchen in the front, 2913 FK. Very bright in here. Ooh, oh, this is it. I was right with the front kitchen and I love that. They even give you a sunlight up there. I love this. Could have gone with a bigger 
range, but that's fine. That's fine, right? Some little weight savings. The gold here, interesting, kind of classy. Maybe not your taste though. Step up here, that's kind of interesting. I don't know. I like the front window. Huge windows in here, like sliding. Barn, barn door no leg there, I like that. And I like that they kind of, it, it's kind of a choose your own adventure here. You may or may not like that, I personally do. I, I think, really like this layout. Yeah, they did it. Who who makes this? We gotta see who makes this. This looks like a Keystone product. Yeah. Uh, let's. These handles. A tiny are, shub. All these little these gold handles are a little sharp on your hand, but. Are they? A little bit. Yeah, they are a little bit, but I think they look great. Yeah, and I like this. Okay, could have this have been something other than plastic? I think so. Would have probably gone maybe even with a gold since you're, you know, gold, 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 but. Hey, I think it looks okay. I like how open this is. There's not a cabinet for your crap, but of course you have the cabinets behind here. They used a gold and black faucet in the kitchen. Yes, but here, what a, what a piece of crap. Again, something you can upgrade on your own, but I like, so you're gonna add your own TV, I suspect. <laughs> That's what they're, what's going on here, but I love the big window. I love the big window. Big window again, that is nice. You know what? Obviously, we have some fit and finish issues. This kind of feels like an Ikea trailer. Yeah. It feels like an Ikea trailer. And you know, I'm not even mad about it. If the price is right. Let's see the payload and the price though. 415 pounds of cargo. You're gonna be overweight immediately after uh, rolling this off the lot with a full tank of uh, water. They will include an equalizer hitch. This is the Astoria, by the way. Equalizer hitch on this. This is actually a 2022 Dutchman Astoria and they have it on sale for 45. But again, I think personally, if you're gonna have a cheapo trailer, this isn't a bad one. It's kind of a, yeah, I mean, per, I don't know, personally. Yeah. I don't know, if they use their own, no. Argue with me, fight with me in the comments. Oh, Whoa, yeah. I've never seen so many Lance campers out here. Interesting, I guess they're trailers, but let's take a look at some of these Lances. Find something kind of interesting here. All right, so this is the Lance 2445. Kind of interesting. I prefer not to see a seam up here, but I guess if you have to, you have to. I do like the dual pane European style windows. That's kind of nice. Oh, they actually have a Truma hot water system. Tandem axle, as you'd expect on something this large. A little bit of storage under there. And this guy has bunks in it. And an armless awning here. We have an interesting door, kind of what you'd see with, with new camp. So, beefy beefy set up here to get in it's a nice little ladder i like that they each have their windows little corner bathroom i like the sink bowl that's kind of interesting and again i really like that these you know you can, you can hide your private business here it's a surround that's more gray so it's kind of a cheaper surround but it kind of looks cool aquamizer i like that porcelain throne even though it may not look like it this is really nice. This is really nice, kind of uh, aircraft style. This is ridiculous. This step up here <laughs> it has to do with the type of slide, I believe. But really, really big windows in your bedroom. And they do all open up, which is really kind of cool. Is that a walk through, walk in closet? It's big enough to walk in. Jeez. But they do give you the nice fans. But then in the living room, they give you a crappy fan. But again, <laughs> and then in the bathroom not great there are definitely some things i would change like this is ridiculous and the front seams on these not great but i do think that they're a little nicer in terms of a white box kind of rig whoa this is a big freaking camper this is the 1172 by lance <laughs> look at this so it's a side entry right side entry they do give you a, your propane tanks we have dual pane windows there so you have a butt slide on this where you have one couch here and then those nice opening windows there very interesting you've got a dinette here uh corner kitchen which is not the worst i've ever seen no the only problem i have with this is that if this slide comes in you can't get into this rv without your slide <laughs> that's ridiculous and then uh this kind of protrudes out kind of makes it feel a little smaller that's strange hmm yeah, you actually have a nice bathroom is it nice shove yeah okay and you saw there's a nice fan out front in the living room but look at that stupid fan in there what is that what is that guys that's not the place to cheap out I mean, it's condensation removal yeah lots of storage in here too a uh, smaller norkel but not too bad you know for the size of rig and then you have a little a little tiny step up here dual 
pane windows again. You have a nice skylight that will pop out and then a little closet, which is kind of funny. I do notice that the heat comes out of here. Up higher, which I think I'd rather have it underneath the bed, personally. Uh, unless there's issues with like moisture and condensation, but this is very spacious. I really actually like this, but also you have to have the truck to carry this. Yeah. Oh yeah. You don't want to put this on a single. You definitely do not. You at least want to dually, but you probably want a 550 yeah. um, or a 5500. Yeah, that's a big old rig. Oh, by the way, this weighs 4,772 pounds. So you're gonna be the <laughs> you're gonna be a big old truck for this guy. Uh, probably not a. a dual cab or the dual entry door cabs big old rig there and look at that look at that hangover now maybe you want to haul it all the thor outlaw might be for you we don't see too many of these but every now and then you see it and this is a big rig you it's a 38 kb big old rig. there's kind of a slant there and it gets bigger in the in the butt so uh, that's interesting. The cargo carrying capacity for this guy is 37.43. So something to know. An interesting stitching here, right? So this isn't quite the interesting part of this rig, but kind of that Thor layout. They have this $86,000 off for under $200,000. Yeah, oh, under two hundred dollars for uh, 2023. That's interesting. Does that say something about the market? I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, a little fridge for this rig, but I guess you're not, you know, maybe you're not living in it necessarily. You can actually see where the the ceiling starts to kind of creep up. Good fan in the bathroom though. Tilt to view bed. Tilt to view bed. You probably need to have that bed tilted when it brings it in. When you bring that slide in rather. I don't know if this guy has washer dryer hookups, but big old TV up there. That's not where I would want to have it. But through these sliding glass doors is what makes this room really interesting. This is the cargo area. <laughs> there is a lot of cargo room. So 1200 pound capacity for the garage area. So smaller motorcycles. I do kind of like that they give you that little flip down. They give you a door there. You got a seat or a bench. We have a whole awning system and rails. See so for all your party on the patio pleasure. <laughs> but not only that, we've got tie downs on the floors as you'd expect. Obviously there's going to be Obviously, we've got sliding doors here for when this is down. You got some netting there. You have a very small design flaw here that your gate to get out also has a cable running through it. So, <laughs> there's a small thing. That's something. <laughs> I don't know about that, but probably not where I would exit. You have a TV back here, an air conditioner separate just for this area. Uh, that's a sleeping quarters and a nice fan up there, but a sleeping quarters. That's so interesting. Extra storage made for tools and such. I get. I think this is a this is a kind of an interesting layout. This is like, you get a lot of bang for your buck here. They did actually used to make this on an F550 chassis as well, um, but you know, being on the F53 chassis probably gives you more, um, a little bit more beef, I think. Yeah. But yeah, very interesting. All right, here's a Thor Hurricane, and I actually really like the paint job they're going with on here, you know, for that partial paint. But ooh, here's a Columbus C series. We're actually quite big fans of the Columbus lineup. Look at this guy, what beautiful, beautiful rig. I like the blue, gray, and white. Funny enough, big windows here. 329 DVC. 329 DVC. Lippert, Furion, Goodyear, blah, 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 blah. All good stuff, hopefully. Standard fifth wheel layout. They're asking 73,995 for this rig. Yeah, big old TV, very typical. Nice oven, really nice oven. I never like how these all flex like this, but I guess, it, you know, do you need to put the weight there? Probably not, so might matter to you, might not. Good sinks here, porcelain throne, but not such a big fan of this tub here, but at least I gave you a good Max Air fan. No built-in rain cover, but still. Lots of light, lots of windows. Very bright and open. That looks weird. That looks really strange to me. It looks like you would hurt your head. Yeah. Hitting that, but yeah, lots of windows. And I like that these windows though, slide. They're all tinted and they slide. May or may not matter to you, but it does to me. This is a metal bracket, essentially. I think there's supposed to be cushion in there and it's missing but that cushion. But there's not. That would hurt. That would hurt. I'd take that right off. <laughs> I am a big fan of these though. We'll, we'll see if they have that really nice one. Uh, the ranch, I think they call it. Uh, the, the ranch hand or 
really cool. And another Columbus, just a quick walk through. We'll enter through the back here, and I love these rear kitchens. Isn't this fun? $86,995 for this guy. So the prices have not dropped to where they, I think they should be personally, but interesting pattern up there. Very interesting pattern. Watch your step, folks. Ooh, I like this. I like these. I really like these. Big, huge closet. Lots of hanging room up here if you like to hang your clothes. Nicer, nicer shower in here. Good fan. Important. You do have a half bath also. Yes, and a place to sit and put your shoes on. Kind of nice. And then a little tiny. Yeah, you know, I don't know what I'd put up here. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But even in the half bath, they give you a good, good lessons to be learned but i don't know guys i like the columbus a little bit they're not the highest quality fifth wheels but they're pretty i think they're pretty decent bang for your buck all right we're in the winnebago area and one thing that has always bothered me with these is this weird i don't know like an eyeliner almost uh but maybe it's just a tape that they're putting up uh but it just doesn't seem quite finished you know uh, but i do like the silver i think the silver loves, does look nice it's a good good shade nice and bright this is the 25B Mini Winnie for uh, 125 it looks like. Before I was up in, you know, an hour or so for me to get up and uh, good butt storage on this guy. Really good butt storage. Stinky slinky holder in the back. Looks like not leveling jacks, but uh, stabilizing jacks. So that's good. Interesting, nice white light flooring. You, this is an interesting taste, isn't it? I don't mind it. I don't like it with the gray outside. I like the gray outside, but not with this interior. Yeah, I think if it was nice and light inside as well, that would make a difference, wouldn't it? The it yeah. What? The finish on this table is already peeling. Oh, but one. Yeah, that is that is absolutely oh, atrocious. Look at, I mean, just from is that like a film they're putting? That's not a film. That's the table. Oh, that's not good. That that is not good. Also, the position on the TV it looks like it's getting cut off by these upper cabinets, but. Uh, if you don't watch TV like we don't, yeah, there's yeah. that. Um, okay, so this might seem like it would bother a person, right? You, you try to get into bed, it's kind of... But they give you the storage where your feet will be down here. They're never going to be this big. It's actually not a terrible idea. No fan, but they give you the option to install a fan, apparently. Big storage. I like that they put a TV back here if you like to watch TV. Um, you know their cabinetry? It's actually not too bad. It is definitely uh, a little nicer finish than uh, Thor products. Ah, boy, you know, it's it's probably just a, a step above in the cabinetry department uh, with uh, than, than even Jayco uh, or Integra because those are just Jayco products. The door, yeah, it's you can actually see it's kind of that thinner Luan, uh, but it looks okay, I think. The, their, the bathrooms are always pretty bad. Uh, this is no exception because they give you a crappy fan. And they give you a plastic toilet. <laughs> plastic toilet, plastic, plastic, plastic. Oh, it's all crap. It's all crap. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, so something, you get a microwave instead of a convection oven, right? So again, 125 for this unit. Are you getting $125,000 worth of brick? We paid 124 for our Integra SD. I would take the SD over this. Way over this. I think the cabinetry is okay. So okay, what is the cargo carrying capacity on this guy? But considering there is no slide, I would expect a little bit more uh, cargo carrying capacity. 4,030 pounds. I think that's the most I've ever seen on E450. Um, I do love that there's no slides, but they are uh, terrible roofs. Absolutely terrible roofs. They're flat, the water's gonna pool, and they do not have good support. Winnebago. If you think I'm wrong, please comment below. But until then, I hate your roofs. And I would never recommend a Winnebago myself. Just my personal preference. This guy's kind of cute for being a Winnebago. Um, look at this. So interesting, really tall, the high center of gravity, but I like that you can see the, the suspension here. It's just kind of fun to look at, right? A little box above also acts as a step well. But look inside at this $39,000 trailer. Isn't this hilarious? Very unique. I like the green here, uh, but your your kiddos can be up there. It looks like you got USBs and you got sliding windows. Big old window in here. You do have a bathroom in this. Very interesting. Uh, I wish that they had put, instead of just a skylight, maybe a uh, fan in here, but it's an all-in-one wet bath. 
tiny, tiny uh, kitchen, but it's technically all here. I like that they're designing a get it done trailer for more than two people. Yeah, yeah, 40,000 is a little much, but. But you can say three, at least. Yes, and uh, yeah, and I do think it's kind of funny. So if you're an inexperienced backer, you know, this is the one, but they still give you yeah, a little kitchen, a little area in the back here, right? Maybe not a kitchen, but a little area in the back. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I like to see it. I like that color on the cabinets. Yeah, we had the cat color in our stamp. Sure did. We uh, painted it ourselves. Turned out okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is a host camper. Uh, host Yukon. 2023 Host Yukon. So let's take a look inside, though, because this at $100,000 might seem like a lot. Might surprise you, but it's very interesting because as you walk in, big, beautiful window back here, and we have a drop down bed right over the couch. Interesting table, but as I pan over, storage, TV, fireplace, really cool sink. I mean, just look at this. Isn't that interesting? Just uh, all one piece. Come over here, we've got one side, more storage, right? You got your bed, TV, sliding windows, and a nice, a nice escape out the top, but doesn't end there because as we come back over, look at this. Isn't this ridiculous? So it's, it's a really, bathroom. yeah, weird bathroom, right? I like the black countertops, personally. Porcelain throne, very interesting. If you're wondering, yeah, it's a little bit higher up, but you can sit on it just fine. And as you move yeah, the door out of the way, it creates a bigger bathroom here for you. Big, huge shower in here. Not as deep, probably only about two feet deep. And then, of course, again, access to your bedroom and all of that. How cool is this? Is this not like super interesting? Ryan, wow. I think you need to buy this one. Yeah, yeah, this uh This is it. This, this is, is the guy. It. Yeah, there was a TG uh also I was looking for one. Look, a good fan. That's it. I like the LED lighting in here. This is super unique. Very high quality too. Yeah, it feels like it. And I like I like the soft touch finishes, right? Um Yeah, nothing nothing stands out as being like cheap they're not using crappy little trim in here uh that, that just like picks and fades away and uh flies off or whatever yeah really neat really neat and uh yeah you can actually see adjustable shelves um if you guys have been following us for a while you know my love of rpods look at this guy it's a little bit longer love the frog thing this is the rp192 i like how usable this is very usable Nice uh, front window, no slides on this, so a little lighter. I like the single dinette, it just makes good sense, right? A little bit of storage underneath. Yeah, you have plastic, 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 but it's something this light that you're gonna probably pull with a Tacoma. Look at that good fan and a cheap trailer. Yeah, a little spot for plants. I would like to see this finished off a little better. You know, maybe a little paint at least. A little storage in there, but come on, this is pretty nice, for, especially for a first trailer. Very livable. Tanks aren't gonna be huge. But you know, if you pull it with an F-150 or something like that, why not? And just before you miss it, 35 grand, 290 a month. All right, we have officially made a full loop and now we're going inside for some more tours, but I think we're gonna end this one here. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Bye.